<laughs> Great party, Dick. Great. Oh, glad you're enjoying it. Ah, Sir Henry, Lady Sarah, glad you could come. Hello. Let me give you a drink. You? Excuse me. Hey, that's Sir Henry Collett of Collett's Hemorrhoidectomy. Now, what are all these people doing here? But more to the point, Paul, what are we doing here? Well, I'm here because I've provided the wine. Well, I'm here because I heard Dick inviting you. Yeah, well, at least I've got someone to talk to. Uh, what did you say? At least I've got someone no, no, to no, talk to. No, no, you provided the wine? Yes, Chateau Moutor Collier, St. Swithin's bottled. Oh, God, <laughs> see there's any scotch. <laughs> Uh, oh, good evening, sir. Enjoying yourself? Yes, thank you, Waring. I'm having a ball. Are you enjoying your wine, sir? Why? I made it. Did you, Collier? Then I should see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mrs. Loftus, no doubt uh, Geoffrey has already told you he won't be Professor Loftus very much longer. Oh, has he got the sack? Oh, no, 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 no. I mean his elevation. His what? Oh, you mean his knighthood. Shh. It's not official yet, it's only a rumour. The more people who know about it beforehand, the less likely it is to happen. Ah, like this is your life. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, still, it will be a very great honour for the hospital. And don't tell me you mind or object to being known as Lady Loftus. Why? Well, well, well... I always think ladies are awfully silly sort of title, really. I mean, surely people can make up their own minds whether I'm a lady or not. Oh, but you are, my dear, and a very charming and beautiful one, too, if I may oh, say so. thank you. Geoffrey, thank goodness you've arrived. The chairman of the board's just made a pass at me. What? No, I haven't. No, you, you know I haven't. And why not? <laughs> we were talking about your impending knighthood. Please. Let's not discuss it here. Yeah, it is a secret. More drink, anyone? No, no thank you. Uh, Mrs. Lotus? No, no. No. no, no. <sighs> Dick Stewart Clark's ladder climbing bean feast. Let's have another drink, eh? It makes you sick. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'd forgotten. <laughs> Do you know, I've counted four nights here already. Four and a half counting Geoffrey. What? <laughs> oh, come on, you know he's going to be Sir Geoffrey Loftus. Oh, well, we didn't actually know for certain. Him? No. Knighted? What the hell for? I mean, I mean, I, I didn't mean that. Actually, I was hoping you'd tell me. <laughs> Elizabeth, I've told you before not to spread silly rumours. Oh, please, I beg you, don't beat me again. <laughs> no, not until we get home. <laughs> don't you think you've had enough to drink? Well, actually, I haven't had nearly enough to drink. Is this appalling wine, Dick, serving? Yes, it is awful, isn't it? Well, uh, congratulations, sir. Well, there's nothing to congratulate me for, nothing is certain. I think we should be going, sir. Oh, yes, 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 of course, if you'll excuse us. Terribly secret. They're off to their Freemasons meeting. Oh, I didn't know you were Freemason, sir. Oh, yes, secret signs and everything. Elizabeth, <laughs> please. <laughs> well, you have to be a Mason to get on these days, don't you? I don't know that that's altogether true. Oh, come on now, admit it. Are you a Mason, Duncan? Mm, no, I think it's a load of... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you think it's rather silly? Yes. So do I. Did I hear you say you were a Freemason, sir? Splendid organisation, truly splendid organisation, if Thank I might say. You. Thank you, Clark. But you do realise that we prefer not to talk about it? Oh, yes. Yes, sir, of course, of course. I've always been a great believer in doing good by stealth, as they say. Oh, yes. Professor Loftus is being installed as worshipful master. Installed? Like central heating. <laughs> <laughs> That's marvellous, sir. Congratulations. Yes, thank you, Clark. Well, we must go. Splendid party. Come on, sir. Yes, uh, thank you so much, Dr... Uh, Dr. Stuart Clark. Uh, Stuart Clark. Stuart hyphenated Clark. Mm. Goodbye. Glad you could come. Freemasons. Oh, well, as long as it keeps them happy. Like a lot of middle-aged schoolboys. <laughs> They're like Boy Scouts, and they don't wear such sexy uniforms. <laughs> I think it's a load of rubbish. Oh, I don't know. I think they have their uses. <laughs> Boy Scouts? <laughs> <laughs> These look very good, Waring. Thank you, sir. And the anticoagulant lining didn't separate for about three hours. Three hours, eh? Yes, sir, that's as good a result as anybody else has achieved. Waring, I won't be satisfied with anything less than perfection. Oh, no, of course not, sir, I understand. Make absolutely sure of your knighthood, eh? Waring, this has nothing to do with any knighthood. And now we should stop going on about it. Oh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Right, sir. And stop calling me sir like that. Oh, but I always call you sir, sir. I don't, sir. Oh. Good morning, Sir Geoffrey. <laughs> I beg your pardon, Collier. Oh, sorry, sir, just a little joke. What have you got there? Oh, oh no, just a few things for my experiments. Brewer's yeast. Yes, sir. You're still not making that revolting wine in this laboratory, are no, you, No, sir, no, sir, I wouldn't do that, sir. There's no wine here. <laughs> Except 
from a few bottles of champagne I was experimenting with. <laughs> a bit lively, aren't they? This is a research laboratory, Carlia. Yes, sir. And if anyone found out it was being used for distilling moonshine... Oh, sir, I, I know, sir. I realise how important this is what, with your knighthood... I don't want to hear any more about that review from anyone else! Yes, sir. No more wine-making here. Understand? I do, sir. Wearing. You'll be seeing Dr. Stuart Clark, won't you? Give yes, him that sir. note for me. Hey, what's Loftus writing to Stuart Clark about? Hmm? Oh, probably a thank you note for last night. Hey, what about that party, eh? You know, I think I know what Dick's up to. What? He's trying to get into the Freemasons. What? No. Never. No, he's showing everybody what a good type he is. And Loftus is worshipful master. Hey, you don't think this could be, uh... Come on, let's have a look. Uh, no. Now, come on. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Is it about, uh... Ah, listen to this. Dear Clark, in reply to your request, admission to the Order of Freemasons is by invitation. The <laughs> creepy snail. Yeah. Self-interested persons who seek to join are not normally admitted. I must therefore inform you that there is no possibility of your acceptance into this Masonic Lodge in the foreseeable future. Yours, Geoffrey Loftus, worshipful <laughs> master. <laughs> shame. Uh, no, 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 shame. After all that hard work, tis a shame. Yeah, poor old Dick. I think he ought to be allowed to join. What do you mean? Well, he deserves it. He should be allowed to join the Freemasons. Yeah, but how? We could invite him to our own Masonic initiation ceremony. <laughs> no, it'd never work. We don't know what their initiation ceremony is like. Neither does he. Hey, yeah, we'll, we'll reply to the letter. We'll say, <laughs> we'll say um, dear Stuart Clark, you are formally admitted into the Order of Freemasons. <laughs> yeah, 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 as a probationary member. Yeah, probationary. Yeah, probationary. And you are invited to attend the initiation ceremony on... Are you busy Sunday? No, no, no. Right. Sunday at 10.30pm yeah. at, uh, uh, where are we going to have it? Here. No, you no. Know, we'll come Priory. We'll come Priory. Yeah. Bring bird and bottle. Ah, that'll be dark. No, no, silly. <laughs> hey, I've got another idea. We'll say, um, you are now entitled to use the uh, Freemasons probationary secret handshake. Eh? Hey? This is taking the forefinger of your right hand and gently tickling the other person's palm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yours, G. Loftus-esque, worshipful master. Great, right. I'll, uh, I'll type it out and uh, you forge the signature. Right on. Hey, hang on a minute. If we do the initiation ceremony, won't he recognise us? That ain't necessarily so. <laughs> morning. Morning, morning. Yeah. Probationary member? <laughs> Hello, Dick. Good news. Oh, no, 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 just... Um... Sonny. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sir. Ah, oh, morning, Clark. <laughs> Was there something, Clark? Oh, no, no, sir, just, um... I shall be there. <laughs> Where? <laughs> I shall be there for the certain things. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, oh no, we can't talk here, can we? <laughs> Mum's the word. Is it? Hmm? <laughs> but um, I shall be there for the certain thing. The certain thing? Shh. <laughs> Mum. Clark, am I winning? I beg your pardon, sir. Well, this is some sort of game, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> I got your note. Oh, my note, I see. Oh, well, you do understand, don't you, Clark? You do, uh... You do understand about these matters. Oh, yes, I understand, sir. Not another word shall be said. <laughs> well, I'll be off now, sir. Cheerio. <laughs> Goodbye. I should thought it was more likely LSD. <laughs> oh, poor old Dick. Oh, roll on Sunday night.
Hello? Anyone there? Excuse me, are you the Freemasons? I call upon our worshipful master. Master! Fellow, why should I hit you? Hey? What? No hard feelings, then? No, I had an absolutely marvellous time last night. I thought it was very funny. And to prove it, I'd be honoured if you'd accept this invitation. Oh. Oh, right. Big Dick Spring Orgy? <laughs> you were invited to a wild night in the leather room of the Empire Hotel, Friday 28th. Clothes as few as possible and easily removable. Bring a bottle and whip. <laughs> oh, Richard, this is not one of your feeble attempts at revenge, is it? I shall be taking no revenge, and if I did, it certainly wouldn't be anything as unsubtle as that. And kindly do not insult my generosity. If you don't want it, others do. I want it. What is it? <laughs> Big Dick Springle. We're not falling for that, you well, know. Well, give it me back. Then. Oh, no, no. Come on, admit it, Dick. It's just another of your poncy creeping to the bosses' dues, isn't it? You, you'll have all the governors and their lady wives lined up drinking their sherry and eating their cream crackers, and we'll burst in, start Nicky, saying, all right, where's the crumpet? Oh. <laughs> we are not so gullible. All right. All right, well, I'll leave it with you in case you change your minds. If you want to miss one of my world-famous naughty rave-ups, that's your fault, not mine. I'm sorry you doubt my integrity. I'm not angry. I'm just very, very... Hurt. Ham <laughs> feeble. Phew. You know, I think Richard is up to something. Hey, Paul, what if it is a raver? What's that for? Speak to the Empire. <gasps> Ask them what's going on in the leather room on the 28th, but I'm telling you, they don't ha have anything wilder than tea dances at the leather room. Well, I mean, the leather room must have got its name somehow. All right. Hello? <laughs> Hello, Empire Hotel, yes. Could you tell me if anything's happening in the leather room on the 28th? There is. Yeah. Um, what is it? Pardon? They won't tell me. Ask him if it's an orgy. Uh, is it a not? Don't be stupid. <laughs> um, could you tell me if Mr. Dick Stewart Clark has anything to do with it? Oh. What? 
Well, he wouldn't tell me and he wouldn't give any names. Must be something they're pretty ashamed of. I mean, if it was a sherry party, they wouldn't be so secretive. I don't trust him. Oh, hell! If it's anything like his last one, it'd be worth going. Whoa! Perhaps it is a real orgy. Look, if it is a real orgy, you can be sure you'll be the star turn in some incredible, embarrassing way. Do you reckon? Look, if he conned you like you conned him last night, what would you do? Con him back? Right. So what do you do now? Con is con? Right. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is Dick there? No, no, we're all right, but I don't think you'll be pleased that we're not going to the leather room tonight. But can we have people organising orgies in respectable hotels? Certainly not. It's illegal. Quite. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> South Street Police Station? I want to talk to somebody in authority, please. This is Inspector Williams. Oh, no, I'd rather like to speak to the Chief Constable. Is it very important, then? Oh, yes, it is. Well, in that case, I'll handle it. Oh, it's extremely important. Well, the Chief's out. I'm in charge, and whatever it is, I can handle it. Now, can I have your name, please? Uh, uh, no! No, it's an anonymous phone call. <laughs> I, I wish to report an orgy. You wish to... A what? <laughs> an orgy? Where? Where? Is it going on now? Oh, any minute. Empire Hotel Leather Room. Uh, sex, sadism, witchcraft, drugs, you name it, they'll be doing it. Oh, <laughs> great. Leather Room, Empire... Can you give me a time, please? Yeah, it's about... Oh, uh, no, no, hang on for a few moments and go round and you'll catch them red-handed. Bye. Uh. <laughs> Do you know something? You should have disguised your voice. Pretty <laughs> much. Oh, Nurse, you haven't seen Professor Loftus, have you? Sorry, I haven't. Hello, Mrs Loftus. Oh, okay. Can we help you? Oh, you haven't seen Geoffrey, have you? Geoffrey? Uh, Mr Loftus. Oh, sir. Not yet. <laughs> He's going to be late. Am I late? Oh, nearly. Never mind. Here's your... Shh, Elizabeth. Here's your clothes. Oh, good, good. And if there's an emergency, I can get you at the Empire Hotel. Is that right? Shh, tact, woman, tact. Yes, Empire Hotel, leather room. Is everything in there? He's going to the orgy. What? <laughs> you didn't forget my sash, did you? That's his costume in there. Rubber boots, wellies, whips, everything. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, it's all right. It's all in there. Middle-aged men in fancy dress. Elizabeth, you know what I'm after. Yes, darling, and you don't mind dressing up in funny clothes to get it. It's all right. I understand. I'm well, glad you do understand. Good night. Good night, darling. Don't wait up for me. No, I won't. She's very broad-minded, isn't she? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't be going to Stuart Clark's party. Oh, well, if he is, he can say goodbye to the knighthood when the fuzz arrive. Oh, no! You better find out. Oh, Mrs. Loftus. Yes? Uh, Mrs. Loftus, I, I, I couldn't help uh, overhearing Professor Loftus saying that he was going to the Empire Hotel. No, you heard me say it and you weren't supposed to. Oh, oh well, he, he he's definitely hasn't gone to the leather room, has he? Well, he'd rather I didn't tell anyone. Oh, well, uh, all right. Could, could you tell me what he's gone for? I mean, I mean, what he's gone to. I'm terribly sorry, Duncan. I can't. Oh, please, it's very important. Look, I know this sounds awfully silly, because it is, but I promised Jeff. Oh, has he gone to Stuart Clark's orgy? I beg your pardon. I'm sorry, I've got to know. Yeah, well, I mean, if he has, well, I won't tell anybody, and it's between you and me. But he could get into terrible trouble, Mrs. Oftus. Well, if Jeffrey's gone to an orgy, he will get into terrible trouble. <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. You see, I've sent the police in. The police are going to raid the Empire Hotel. Now, why should the police raid a Masonic dinner? A what? A Masonic dinner. He's got... Oh, blast his silly schoolboy secrets. He's gone to a Masonic dinner. And I don't care who hears. Jeffrey Loftus has gone to a Masonic dinner at the Empire Hotel. Is that about it? Oh. Now, where's he gone? <laughs> Duncan, why aren't you at my orgy? You idiot! It's a Masonic dinner! I know. Did you like it? I haven't <laughs> been. Oh, hell, it didn't work then, did it? Why did you tell me it was an orgy? Well, I thought if you believed me, you'd burst in there half naked. And if you didn't believe me, you'd think up some stupid prank to play me back, which would be equally embarrassing. Oh, I did. I sent the police in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, marvellous. Great. You really excelled yourself this time. Yeah, but Professor Loftus is there. Well, it serves him right for refusing me entry. Oh, what about me? It serves you right for humiliating me in the first place. Oh, come on. It was a joke. I'm going to get done. Oh, calm down. They won't know who sent the fuzz in. Will they? I, I told Mrs Loftus. Well, that was extremely foolish of you, Duncan. you better call the raid off. Oh, I can't go along and tell her to call it off because it means I had something to do with it in the first place. If I had something to do with it in the first place, it must mean I'd set it up. So if I give me a name, the whole thing straight back. 
What am I talking to you for? I'm gonna stop it! You! Where are you? 